Uh, good morning. This is Jason Sen from daytradeideas.com. Uh, just a bit of a midweek look at what's going on in the markets. Uh, looking at gold here at the moment, this is a daily chart of spot gold. Uh, you can see that we've been in a fairly good uptrend just, just through this summer from the beginning of July. Got some trend lines on here just to make the channel clear. Um, it's all working very well on a technical perspective. We've uh, dipped recently in the last few days down to the 100 day moving average. That's that bl uh, brown line here. Uh, but that coincides perfectly with the uptrend line that we've got here, which uh, uh, very clearly we bounced off yesterday. I think the, the exact point was uh, 1356 and we, and we pretty much hit it bang on and bounced. So uh, we're looking a bit oversold on the on the daily stochastics as well and, and pro possibly we're going to see a little rally now in, at least into the end of the week and possibly um, into the end of the month of September. Um, cable, British pound uh, versus the US dollar is another quite interesting chart. Um, this is a weekly chart. I'm t taking it from a longer perspective. Oops. And for, uh, there's a good reason for that. We've given the two week moving average a good run. Uh, that's 157.36. We managed to break that. But just above, we've got quite long-term Fibonacci resistance of 157.80. Now, we've managed to spike through there today to up to 158.26 on a strong unemployment number. But we are just sitting below there again now. We've pulled back a little bit. Um, this is quite an important level. So watch that 157.80 area. Um, I think we could start to see some profit taking on this. We've had a really good run up through the summer. But it is looking a bit overdone. It's looking a bit overbought. Um, I'm looking for some profit taking and I wouldn't really be bullish again unless we close above that high today of 158.26. Not, not a huge sell off I'm expecting but certainly some profit taking over the next few days. This is a daily chart of the dollar yen um, going back again towards the beginning of the summer. The black line here is, the, is, a, is a clear downtrend line. We managed to break above that. Uh, you can see that over here. Then we had that big red candle where we came back to retest the trend line. We bounced perfectly off there. Um, and above the 100 day moving average which is the brown line that you see at 99.01 so it's all quite positive really bouncing off the trend line bouncing off the 100 day moving average having broken above the trend line uh, early September um, this all looks quite positive in the short term at least for the dollar yen and lastly the euro not not very clear really no no real patterns to um, to give us any real clues very range bound um, we hit the top of the range uh, around the middle of August, around the 134.5 area. We've pulled back halfway up to the 131.00 area. We bounced off that quite nicely. Now we're hitting resistance around the 132.80, 133.10 area. Um, so a bit rangy really and lacking direction, but just thought I'd point that one out. Okay, thanks very much. It's Jason Sen at daytradeideas.com.